This mural is a lot more than colors on the wall, figures on the wall, and letters on the wall. The graphic lines came from originally when I started, you know, I did a lot of outdoor work and then I bring it onto canvas and uh, I use this sort of patterns as a texture for backgrounds and sort of notice how effective it was and uh, sort of controlling the spray paint because the medium spray paint on canvas is quite messy and drippy so I was really, you know, controlling that and then I started bringing the outdoors in as well and it just became a style of mine and now I, I do installations with it and different things so yeah it's become a bit of a signature thing I guess and it's great, it's enjoyable to do. This girl is about community, supporting community, it's about mentorship, it's about leadership and most importantly it's about giving back. I came here because of the Spring Creek Art Festival and the Jones Centre and uh, they invited me over, looked at their mission, what they want to do and, what they, and it's quite fitting with what I do so I said yep, let's, let's come over and do it. And, you know, they, they became aware of me because I, I had a show in Fayetteville last November so yeah, they invited me over and got on super with them. The Spring Creek Art Festival is a festival that celebrates student artists. This is Spring Creek Art Festival's first year. Located in downtown Springdale, SCAF plans to host a festival that will showcase student works in video, live performances, photography, and art. To get excitement for the festival, SCAF brought in Mazer. We're going to identify some at-risk artists. We're going to show them how to improve their life. We're going to give them a pathway for employment and for an education through scholarship, through funded programs to further their art. International artist Mazer was in Springdale to paint a mural on the Youth Strategies Skills Center. Youth Strategies is an organization that helps students believe in themselves, achieve academic and career success, and become productive citizens. But he's not only here to paint on their wall, he's also using the minds of local students as a canvas and changing their lives. Uh, actually, I'm originally from Palau in uh, Saipan, and I moved to uh, Hawaii, and then I grew up in Hawaii, and then that's when I moved here, man, about four years ago. Actually, you know why it was pretty rough, a rough too, man. I almost died, and lucky thing, my sister, you know, she helped me out. She took me out of this bad situation, and and now I'm here. I mean, she she wanted to move there, and she asked if I wanted to come over with her, and I, I told her yes. So I came over, and now everything has changed. I'm a better man. Ah, oh, man, it's, it was rough. I mean, but I, I have I had good people, you know, like that helped me out to. Help me go through life, you know. And thank God I met uh, Mike, my boss, for your strategies, because he helped me out a lot too. Stay away from trouble and, you know, hang out with the right people and, you know, make the right decision. Joseph Dela Cruz is a student in the Youth Strategies program, and this presented him the opportunity to work alongside Macer. It's been it's been awesome, man. Pretty much, uh, I mean, learning something new from him, because. For me myself, I mean, I'm an artist too, but different kind of artist. And for him to come and um, show us how to do this uh, new stuff, is, it's, a, it's pretty cool, you know? After Mazer painted the mural, he constructed a three-dimensional version of his murals, but in the form of a cube. And what I wanted to do was just do a street installation. So everything I do is public art, so I want to do something outside. Um, I do a lot of stuff that like interrupt space, you know, just like graffiti or a tag or this mural has like interrupted the space, you know, it's taken from the norm. And um, so I want to do something like that. So I was going to build like a three dimensional version of what I paint and that became a cube. And then I just thought, just put it right in the middle of the road, talking about interrupting space and traffic and flow, be the best thing. And it became a focal point and a place where people get their photo taken. And so I was super happy with it. Mazur has had a passion for art since a very young age and he has always dabbled in many different kinds. Saving my lunch monies and stuff like that to get spray paint and you know became a bit of an obsession you know just it was an art form where I could just do what I want and paint what I want and so I'm glad I kept with it you know the times where I wasn't gonna and uh, but I'm glad because it's I'm in a good position now because of it. Many of his pieces of art promote happier and more joyful feelings rather than what most consider graffiti pieces. Well, I was always doing art and stuff like that, and I don't know, it's, this isn't graffiti anymore, this is contemporary right. muralism. Right. Murals are, it's public art, you know, so right. 
Um, maybe when I just started doing messaging and writing and doing typography, I think that's going to change. And this message won't fade over time. Mazer plans on coming back and touching it up when the pigments begin to fade. Mazer will continue to inspire many as he travels around the world. Next stop on Mazer's journey is in Wisconsin to work with a print museum, paint a mural, and then he'll be off to Chicago to challenge the creativity of others. And for Spring Creek Art Festival, the mural is just the beginning. They will host their inaugural festival at the end of October with plans to provide scholarships to students in video, art, photography, and live performance. Just like the mural, Spring Creek will make a lasting impact and inspire students to believe in their abilities.